from the earliest of times. Most crops have been grown using God's good earth on farmland that can stretch for miles. Most of our traditional agriculture is really built around our farm equipment and the ability for tractors to get down rows. But a new way to grow vegetables has sprouted up, where most of the land has been replaced by water, thanks to a world of wonder called aquaponics. Aquaponics is the art and science of marrying aquaculture, the farming of fish, with hydroponics, the farming of plants without soil. It turns out a lot of plants don't require soil to be grown. A lot of plants can be grown in water very easily. With a little help from koi fish that help boost nutrients to the plants, these ripening tomatoes are being grown here on beds of water at an aquaponics farm run by Ecolife in Escondido. Plants need a couple of things. They need nutrition, they need moisture, and they need oxygen. One of the reasons that you can drown plants in the ground is that you don't have a way of oxygenating that water. But in our systems, the water is moving, it's being oxygenated, so the plants are able to stay with their roots in the water, they get the nutrition they need, they're not competing for water with any other plants, so we can put them much closer and reduce that footprint to a very small space. For us here in California, where we grow a third of our nation's produce, reducing our agricultural footprint means reducing the amount of farmland. And that's good news for farmers, says Ecolife CEO and conservation biologist Bill Toon. Less land means less cost and less need for what California uses most. Water is critical to the state of California for our entire economy, and agriculture uses up around 80% of all of our water in the state. And that's not necessarily bad, except that our state ran out of water 100 years ago. And so we're working on borrowed water. In head lettuce alone, the state of California exports 55 billion gallons of water. We could reduce that to 5 billion gallons of water if all head lettuce was grown in this system. If farmers would adopt aquaponics for growing vegetables, they could reduce both their land footprint by almost 90%, leaving all that open space for other uses. They can also reduce their water footprint by 90% because we're recirculating the water. The water we lose is through transpiration from the plants, not into the soil and not a tremendous amount of evaporation. Of course, getting farmers to make a shift from land and tractors may take some time, but future farmers are already testing the waters at places like Patrick Henry High School with help from Ecolife. I'm really passionate about the environment and I thought it would be a great opportunity to get to work with a nonprofit like Ecolife to understand how to use our resources um, because our earth is not this unlimited thing like we have a limited amount of resources and I want to learn how to conserve. Living in California we have extremely limited water resources and so it's really important that we have sustainable systems such as aquaponics that are able to reuse water and reduce synthetic fertilizers that go into our freshwater resources. If you're a young kid and you want to be a farmer and you have an acre of land, the good news is, is that now you can compete with a farmer who has 10 acres of land. You can do the same production on one acre that he can do on 10. And better yet, you can do it in two thirds of the time. In a state where drought is a constant threat, aquaponics is sure to take root as long as you add a little care and sunlight and, of course, a little water in this growing world of wonder.